Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, March 28th, 2024. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. Psycho Maryland weather. Man, I'll talk about a raw day yesterday. Well, here's to a better weekend ahead of us. Hopefully, George can shed some light on that in a minute. Anyhow, we do have a bunch of news, so let's get into it, shall we? A very brief update on the bridge collapse. I do recommend that you follow the Baltimore banner. They're doing an outstanding job. In a news conference last night, the governor announced that two bodies were found trapped inside of a red pickup truck yesterday morning. They also advised that the conditions are too dangerous and that the recovery operation will now transition into a salvage operation with hopes that divers can recover the remaining four bodies once they begin to remove the debris from the harbor. There is no timetable for reopening the shipping channel nor the reconstruction of the bridge. Yesterday in Pasadena, a crash involving a Ford Taurus and a Toyota 4Runner at Ritchie Highway and Pasadena Road led to the death of 31-year-old Mary Amelia Jones and injury to two others. The crash, which did occur at about 9 a.m., is under investigation to determine which vehicle had the right-of-way at the traffic light. Jones's 83-year-old grandmother and the 47-year-old Toyota driver were both hospitalized and are in stable condition. The Anne Arundel County Police have arrested a 25-year-old Glenn Burney man and charged him with 11 counts of possessing child pornography. The charges followed a police search of a Dropbox account linked to his phone number and home address containing explicit videos of minors. The suspect was released on his own recognizance, with his attorney pointing out his client's community ties and insisting that he poses no threat. The images did include sexual acts between adults and infants, prepubescents, and preteens. In sports news, David Rubenstein's acquisition of the Baltimore Orioles from the Angelos family was unanimously approved by Major League Baseball owners yesterday. The $1.725 billion deal concludes over three decades of the Angelos family ownership. Rubenstein, a Baltimore native and co-founder of the Carlisle Group, expressed commitment to professionalism and winning in his new role. The 12th Annual Annapolis Film Festival, set to open on April 4th, features a diverse lineup. The opening film, Thelma, stars June Squibb in a unique action role, while Jennifer Esposito's makes her writing and directorial debut with Fresh Kills, exploring mafia family dynamics from a female perspective. And Edie Falco's film, I'll Be Right There, is another highlight portraying everyday extraordinariness. The festival, known for fostering innovation and creativity, will also host Q&A sessions with several renowned actors and filmmakers, and both Falco and Esposito are scheduled to attend the festival. Tickets and passes are available right now at annapolisfilmfestival.org. Finally, the Annapolis Symphony Orchestra's Masterworks 5 concert, titled Roman Festivals, will be held from April 12th to the 14th at Maryland Hall. The concert features the world premiere of Nikki Sohn's Symphony No. 1 and a performance by renowned pianist Aguadajin Pratt. Artistic director Jose Luis Novo has focused on diversity throughout this whole series, brings a range of talented artists and composers to the orchestra. The concert also includes Respighi's Feste Roman, promising a dynamic display by the orchestra. Tickets are available through Annapolis Symphony Orchestra's website, annapolissymphony.org, or the box office. Podcast stuff. Up this weekend on the Local Business Spotlight, we check out a new-ish store in the Main Street at South River Shopping Center called Token. If you are a gamer, this one's for you. And it does drop at noon on Saturday. And in closing, one of the best ways to keep up on the local news is the Daily News Recap email. It goes out at 7 p.m., 366 days this year. It's free-free and paywall-free. And here is a link right here in the show notes for you to sign up. And please, do me a favor and let your friends, family, and colleagues all know about it as well. All right, and that is a wrap. As always, thank you for being you. And a thank you to our sponsors for today's Daily News Brief. Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, and Hospice of the Chesapeake. So now you just need to sit back because we have George from DC MDVA Weather with the only locally forecasted weather report you will find. And because it's Thursday, 
Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace is here with your Annapolis Makerspace Maker Minutes. All that's coming right up, so hang tight. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Is all this talk of inflation making you uneasy? Me too, especially the uncertainty. How bad will it eat into my future purchasing power? Well, don't feel helpless because solar energy can give you some financial control. By installing and owning your solar system, you can lock out electricity cost inflation by locking in your electricity price for more than 25 years. Many of our inflation-fighting clean energy systems offset 100% of the annual electricity demands. Customers frequently add electric vehicle charging and backup batteries to their solar projects, providing them inexpensive auto fuel and additional energy security for the home. We freeze energy inflation in its tracks by committing to affordable, clean solar energy. Call us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. But don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a waste. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, March 28th. Yesterday turned out as expected across the Annapolis region with clouds and showers and today will bring more of the same which could impact opening day in Baltimore for the Baltimore Orioles game at 3.05 p.m. But the weekend ahead looks very nice. Look for highs today in the low to mid 50s with more clouds and showers along with breezy winds out of the north due to a cold front just off the U.S. east coast and low pressure riding along that front. But all of that will push further offshore Friday, allowing sunshine to return, though breezy winds will remain as highs end up around the 60-degree mark Friday afternoon. As for the weekend, look for plenty of sunshine both Saturday and Sunday with highs in the low to mid-60s Saturday with a very small but valid chance of a passing rain shower Saturday afternoon, followed by mid-60s to maybe low 70s in a few spots with mixed skies Sunday to close out the weekend with the early outlook for the first half of next week being, you guessed it, more rain. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DCMDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow DCMDVA Weather on Facebook and X for weather updates each day, along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info, so you can always stay weather informed. Coping with advanced illness can be overwhelming, and determining the best options for a loved one isn't always so easy. But here at Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, we want you to know you do have a choice. You can choose exactly who provides the care and the type of care you receive. And it's your decision when and where your loved one receives that care. We have served our community, family, and friends for over 40 years. We are there when you need us. Learn how we can help at hospicechesapeake.org. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. Highlighting some of those, here's our Maker Minutes, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. Hey, this is Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. At Chesapeake Lightcraft in Annapolis, registration is open for upcoming classes, making jimmy skiffs, Annapolis wherries, shearwater and wood duck kayaks, as well as other things. At Knits and Pieces of a Besquet Road, on Wednesday, check out their Socks 101 class, and registration is open for their second Saturday skills class coming up, working with Magic Loop, and they just added a class coming up soon called XL and Emigurumi, making jumbo knitted or crocheted stuffed animals. At the Will Oak Flower and Herb Farm in Severn, Saturday, they're having an Easter flower centerpiece workshop, as well as a big Easter egg hunt. At Whole Foods in Annapolis, today their Half Pint Kids Club is doing fruit and cracker flowers, with one session at 11 a.m. and another at 1 p.m., and no Half Pint Kids Club on Tuesday this week. At Local by Design, on Saturday, they're having another paint your own piece of furniture workshop. At Art Farm in Annapolis, tonight they have Mending Our Stories, starting a four-week run, where you can learn mending techniques using various materials and media. Also tonight is their sketch night with a live model. Then on Saturday, they have their first exposure digital photography workshop, as well as a spring wreath workshop for their kids' art school sessions this week. Today, there's a kids' art school for ages 9 through 11. Saturday, there's a kids' art school for ages 6 through 8. And then on Monday, there's one for 6 through 8 as well. But then some of their other kids' classes coming up. Like today, there's mixed media for ages 10 through 13. Tuesday, there's experimental art club for ages 10 through 13. As well as pencil, charcoal, ink, and watercolor for ages 10 through 13 starting a new run. At the Anne Arundel County Public Library System this week. Today, Discoveries has Fly Like a Girl, Movies and Crafts. 
Mountain Road has a STEM open play. Broadneck has a Tinker Lab. Bush Annapolis is doing a Crafter Noon. Lenthicum has Build and Play with Lego. And Glen Burnie has their Origami Club. On Saturday, Discovery's Library at the Mall has a Ghostbusters fan watch party, watching Ghostbusters Afterlife, and making fun STEM crafts using slime and marshmallows. And Severn has Sit and Stitch. On Monday, Glen Burnie has a Steam Club. And Eastport Annapolis Neck has a Tween Art Night. On Tuesday, Eastport Annapolis Neck has Homeschool STEM, doing a Stormwater Marble Run. And then on Wednesday, Edgewater has Skeens and Stitches. Severna Park has a Lego Challenge. Bush and Apples has their Nature Explorers Club. And then Odenton has Stomp Rockets. Construct and launch paper rockets. If you have any questions about the Annapolis Makerspace, the Maker Minutes, or any of these events, feel free to contact me at trevor at makeannapolis.org. And you can find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website, also at makeannapolis.org. Whether they're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Have you ever had to wait to get an appointment at the Apple Store? Skip the wait and the line at the mall by visiting Mac Medics in Severna Park or Lanham, where appointments are not necessary. Mac Medics is an Apple authorized service provider. Mac Medics services all Apple devices, including broken iPhone screens and batteries, and all without an appointment. Most iPhone repairs are complete the same day and usually within a few hours. Mac Medics is also an Apple authorized reseller and sell Apple products at the same price as the Apple Store. Visit Mac Medics in Severna Park or Lanham for Apple authorized sales and service and shop local. Don't wait for help. Call Mac Medics at 410 757 MAX, which is 410 757 6227. It's 410 757 6227. Or visit them online at macmedics.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, eyeonannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Eye on Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.